On October 30th, 1984, a French Navy mine hunter, Circe, located the wreck of Alabama, seven nautical miles off Chevrolet, in 58 meters of water. It took four years before the French were able to go back and start doing detailed archaeological work. Through the years, what the French found and documented is a wreck lying on her side, about 20 degrees to starboard. Her boilers, still intact, have prevented much of the hull structure in that area from being destroyed by the current. But at both ends, at both the bow and the stern, much of the ship has been stripped away. The most important thing in archaeology is remembering that everything you do can't be reversed. If you excavate or bring something up, you can never go back down and dig it up again. It's like having a bank account in which you can only make withdrawals, but not deposits. So, you're very careful and methodical. Then you move in and you start your actual excavation using underwater dredges, such as our French colleagues are using in the footage. That gives you a chance to slowly, carefully move away sediment, to recover artifacts as they're uncovered on the bottom, to document, to draw, and to photograph them in place, and then to bring them up carefully as you continue down through the layers of history that were left as the ship slowly disintegrated and fell into itself on the seabed. 